Okay, family. <laughs> Excuse me. I had to regroup. I was on a little tangent. I know I was probably losing y'all. Y'all was like, wait a minute. What the fuck is this bitch talking about right now? Well, I'm all over the place. Okay? I got my card in my purse. So I'm all over the place, but we're going to start this shit one more again, okay? So this this motherfucking shit is take two. This is take two. We talking about entertainment news on, at uh, 6.37 on the p.m., and the day is August the 16th, okay? We're going to start over, can we? Okay, we're going to start over. Now we done got our lip balm and shit. Okay, now what's popping over here? Over here we got a little patchouli in the diffuser. So if you see some little smoking shit coming around, don't think it's a spirit in this motherfucker. It's this goddamn uh, thing going right here that changes from red to green to blue. Motherfucking this right here, all these different colors and shit. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. I like that old type of shit. So I got that shit going right there. Sativa been on deck, if you can't tell that already. Got me a little um, water cracking. But, and I was hitting it on the ground. So then therefore, you know, my ice can really break up like I like it like. Because I like that crunch ice shit. Real shit. I like that crunch ice. A.M. P.M. got the coldest motherfucking crunch like ice in the land. I'm telling you. Try it and see. Uh, just try it one time. Be like, you know what? I'm going to just go on over here and go see what this crunch ice is on. Let me go. Let me just go and try it. Try it and see what happens. Man, that shit is the lit. Hold on. They got a hair rush like a motherfucker. Mm. What you call that shit? A heat? Uh, no. A cold head. Man, what you call that shit? Where the shit is cold in your motherfucking brain free. Yeah. Whoa. Shit, I'm fucked up. Oh, my God. Nigga, give me a minute, shit. My medulla oblongata, this motherfucker feel like Jack Frost. Hold the fuck up. Oh, shit. Mmm. They say when you get one of them motherfucking brain freezes, when you drinking something extra cold, you're supposed to put your tongue at the top of your motherfucking mouth. Because see, what happens is your motherfucking palate and shit, is that's where it comes from. Your, your mucous membranes and shit in it, you know, it'll give you a little head, little, you know what I'm saying, twist. Man. <clears throat> Damn you. Shit. Wow. Okay. Anyway. So we're going to talk about these motherfucking Cali news. Okay. Cali entertainment news okay we're gonna be all over the place i'm gonna ask that you keep up with it i ain't got time to stop and go back and forth on this and that if you miss some shit go back and rewind and see what time it is on that but we're gonna start off with the motherfucking weddings of the season have we not had some weddings within the last couple of motherfucking days have y'all noticed okay now, I'm going to start off with Kevin Hart since they, since this motherfucker act like that uh, uh, Ray J and them ain't had shit to do last Friday. So, we're going to start off with Kevin Hart and them since, you know what I'm saying, that's like the big old thing right now. It's the fact that Kevin Hart and them got married. And I think that that's beautiful. Real shit. I think it's so beautiful. But, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this too. Can I go on and say it? I don't give a fuck if you say it now. I'm saying it anyway. Okay. But, I just feel like to a degree... He was kind of smearing it in his ex-wife's face. Oh, I, look, I got me a 10 on my own. You know what I'm saying? She accepted me for all of my faults. She loved our kids and all that old type of shit. Body is sick out the game. You know what I'm saying? All that's her hair and it's good too. And check this out. We over here in Dubai. We over here doing this, that, this, 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 this. And bitch, I want you to see all this. You know what I mean? It just seems like to me that he wants to hurt her. You know what I mean? And put it out there that, you know what? I got me a new bitch on my arm. Excuse me, I don't mean no, no disrespect, but because she appears to be a really nice lady. But, you know, I'm certain when a motherfucker is drinking and motherfuckers is putting one up in the air, there's no filters with it when it's him and his homeboys or whatever. But I'm certain at some point in time, he really didn't give a fuck whether or not the ex-wife was seeing all this shit or not. Because it's just all in her face, man. It's been all in her motherfucking face. And she ain't had nothing to do with but digest this shit. He get the kids. The kids coming back. Talking about they've been, been on the backs of elephants. And them motherfuckers been all in the Grand Canyon. And them motherfuckers been on private jets. And hanging with the rock and all these motherfuckers. And then when they come on with your motherfucking ass. We on the two for two for two for two for five dollar motherfucking menu and shit. You know what I mean? So I think it's kind of 
fucked up to a degree that, you know, I, I don't know. It just seemed like, you know, it's just kind of being put in her face a little bit. And now, you know what I'm saying, they doing a little um, Keiko or whatever motherfucking vacation vacation or whatever they got going it seemed very nice you know what i'm saying but he couldn't give the first wife this type of elaborate get down to wedding dress and all this old type of shit and she bared his children and now nigga i'm done with you but i got this right here honey dip and uh we about to do it like this on a whole different motherfucking level hell yeah she gotta be feeling some shit she feeling some shit like a motherfucker just like excuse me um, Tierra Marie, I know you fucked up, mama. I seen it last night after the motherfucking Love and Hip Hop first show of the season. That motherfucker was crazy. But, uh, after the, after the get down, they showed, uh, Tierra Marie and all them, Ray J and all them motherfuckers was on, you know, the after show get down. Ray J came out with a dog and all that. I mean, them motherfucker, nigga is like putting in her face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you probably primed me up, but shit, you primed me up for this motherfucker. So now, uh, see you later, bitch. Bye. Okay, now over here, I got me a dime. She, this right here, man, you know what I'm saying? Mixed with such and such. Princess, you know I love you, baby. So I'm not saying nothing so disrespectful. I don't mean it to be. Okay, you my motherfucking partner. I love you. Follow each other on Instagram and Twitter and all that. Old. I, I see you, mama. I like you. You know what I'm saying? And I, I wish all this right here, all the motherfucking bad. I ain't got nothing bad to say. You know what I'm saying? Other than, yeah, mama was right on that motherfucking prenup. Let me just go and say that part right now. Because you gonna come in this motherfucker with what you brought in. And I'm gonna come with what the fuck I brought in. Now, if we collectively make some shit together, then that's what the fuck we gonna split at the end. But you ain't gonna come in and gonna take all my shit, too, that I had before. That had that I had popping beforehand. What? Oh no, nah, we ain't gonna be able to do it like that. Oh no. But you know, the verdict is out on that. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, some motherfuckers feel like, you know, it ain't supposed to be no prenup. If you love me, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's just go on and do this right here, nigga. Your money, my money, it's all this right here, one account. No problem. Okay? But, you know, some motherfuckers such as myself gonna be like, look, check this out. You know what I mean? Um, we can come in with what both of us had in this motherfucker and walk away with the same damn thing. Now now that I'm older, now, yeah. Now, probably when I was younger, I probably would have felt like, uh, is this nigga not going to give me no money later on? Yeah, I probably would have felt that as I was younger. So I'm kind of giving some of these young ladies, you know, the benefit of the doubt like that. Now, a motherfucker like me, I'll be 45 in less than 30 days. You know what I mean? So, R. Kelly and them ain't checking for my motherfucker ass. No way. You see that motherfucker about to marry somebody 19. Nigga, what is you doing? But at any rate, that don't make nothing but the woman, the women that are in my age group, you know what I'm saying, that's, you know, uh, 40 something other and the 50 something other motherfuckers that's, you know what I'm saying, that's still juicy and still doing it all on some MILF type of motherfucker stat. Nigga, who checking for our motherfucking ass? Because, see, um, R. Kelly, you about to be 50 motherfucking years old. Nigga, that's a hell of a motherfucking age gap, nigga. What you got in common with this motherfucker? I don't understand it. I don't get it. I, nigga, for the life of me. I don't understand that shit. But it just seemed like it's a matter of control. To me. Now, I could be wrong, but to me, it just seemed like a matter of control when a motherfucker want to go that you know, that big of an age difference. You know what I mean, nigga? You trying, you really want to be daddy and shit. Nigga, if you don't sit down, what the fuck? Anyway, we was on Love and Motherfucking Hip Hop prenup and all that old type of shit. And Tierra Marie came in on the thing last night drunk as a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Bitch, you was two motherfucking sheets to the wind. You was so motherfucking late. I, I said, this bitch that had some indica. And a motherfucking shot of this right here. And said, fuck it. Let me just come on out. Just show me where to sit at. I'm going to sit next to you, bitch. Okay, no problem. Um, as a, uh, Camera rolling. This bitch came out on this motherfucker so wet. I said, oh my God. Y'all, somebody better tell this motherfucker to just be cool. You know what I mean? Bitch, you was wet, mama. You was wet like a motherfucker. You, which means that you're also in your feelings. You done primed this motherfucker up for eight, nine years she was with Ray J. Eight or nine of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? He done cheated on her motherfucking ass with Kim Kardashian and all this other... You know what I'm saying? Because, see, them nine motherfucking years, she done went through a whole bunch of shit. She was a bitch in the background. 
You know what I'm saying? When this motherfucker was singing about all that motherfucking shit, yeah. It was, you know what I'm saying? He was with her. So, and then in the meantime and in between time, here Kim come in. Whoa, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, she done put up with a whole bunch of shit. And now he got this motherfucker. They sitting up with a dog. Got him all motherfucking white. You know what I'm saying? Like life video with motherfucking Fantasia. Ain't they? Them motherfuckers said, fuck that shit, nigga. We got a dog in our hand. It's white. You got white on, mama? Okay, I got my white shit on, nigga. Look like K-Swiss, whatever that motherfucker was had on. That motherfucker said, look, I'm going to all cocaine motherfucking white. Now go. Huh? Nigga, we the Norwoods in this motherfucker. If y'all don't look, get a bar of all this right here, nigga. This nigga, this is coin. You hear me? Then Ray J was sitting up there like that like, motherfucker was a bag of money. That motherfucker was like, shit, hey, look, check this out. I don't give a fuck about none of this right here. And these motherfuckers sitting behind me, it ain't about that motherfucker. Nigga, we had coming to America, downtown LA, Friday night, nigga. Motherfuckers was throwing up at 4 o'clock. Huh? Yeah. And see, I came on on my Facebook on Friday and was telling y'all that Ray J was getting married today. Y'all remember that shit? I put it on Facebook. Y'all motherfuckers don't believe me? Go on back. A lot of motherfuckers didn't know that he was actually getting uh, getting married on Friday. But, you know, I know somebody that knows somebody that knows some motherfucking body. You know what I mean? And not only that, but shout out to one of my motherfucking girls that's also gonna be on the show. You know what I mean? And her and her daughter and all that shit. And, you know, her name is Lyric. And me and Lyric, actually, we, we met up at um, a Jackie Christie party. And ever since then, we've been hella cool, you know what I'm saying? We all around the same, you know? And her daughter is also on Love and Hip Hop. So, you know, you're going to see Lyric later on and shit. Nigga, Lyric, but, man, look, I saw a couple of the motherfuckers, the preview, I said, Lyric, if y'all motherfuckers, if y'all, what y'all motherfuckers got going I said, oh, my God, here come my partner. My partner get ready to be on this motherfucker. Nigga, don't show out, nigga. Because these motherfuckers going to eat me a lot. Uh, Tina, if you don't come get your motherfucking partner off this bitch, please. Yeah. Yeah. But at any rate, we over that shit. But, Tierra, baby, I know that your soul was hurt. You you had to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker done went under the knife and got all this shit sucked out, pushed up, this right here, tilted to the left. That turned and bit to the right. All that shit. You done got all that motherfucking shit done, okay? And this nigga still on some other shit. Well, you know what I'm saying? That goes to let you know. For all you ladies, these young ladies that watch my shit, impressionable motherfuckers, and y'all 20s and 30s, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That y'all motherfuckers, you know what I mean? I, I got it going on. Okay, auntie, believe you. You got it going on, you know what I'm saying? But... You can go out there and have all these threesomes and bring all these motherfucking extra bitches into the room and do all this shit, take your food stamp money and buy this nigga Alaskan King and all. You can do all this motherfucking shit for these dudes. At the end of the motherfucking day, these niggas ain't got no problem with leaving your ass and moving on to the next motherfucker. Once they find that 10 that they feel is a 10, nigga... You's a has-been motherfucker. You better ask Jocelyn. Jocelyn's soul is fucked up right now. I can't believe they be dead, dead. I can't believe. I thought I was going to be this right here. Yeah, mama. I felt my soul was fucked up. I said, oh, my God. I feel so bad. And then you pregnant, too. Jocelyn, I feel so bad, mama. Damn, that's fucked up. For real deal, Holyfield, mama. That's fucked up. I just, you know. And then this motherfucker on there... I mean, Stevie J didn't give a fuck. He was like, shit, nigga, I'm out of this motherfucker. Take these, take all this shit off around my motherfucking head, all this kind of motherfucking. Take all this shit off my, up under my coat and shit, nigga. The mic, y'all got that motherfucker? I'm out of this motherfucker. Deuces. That nigga was gone. He didn't give a fuck. He didn't give a fuck. That's when you know a motherfucker done moved on. When, nigga, you could be crying. You could be begging. All that shit, and that shit don't do nothing to the motherfucker. The motherfucker still trying to get on. Nigga, you's a has-been, used-to-be motherfucker. Nigga, he done moved on. And it hurts. I know that it got to hurt, okay? I can't say I've totally been there. Um, let me see. Had I? You know what I'm saying? I've been a wife that had a whole bunch of shit done to me. You know what I'm saying? But I was a motherfucking wife, you know what I mean? But, and not to say that that makes it better or nothing like that, but let me see if I had a sidekick nigga that just done done me all kind of way. 
Yeah, I had a sidekick nigga that done done all kind of motherfucking thing. But nigga, I ain't trying to take on your last name or nothing of the kind. Nigga, gnaw on this motherfucker and do it pushing after that. Nigga, uh, this right here, this, I need you to do this right here. Come on over here and holler at this. And then nigga, uh, excuse me, good night, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Here's your keys. You got your motherfucker. Where's your hat at? Yeah. Nigga, I'm helping you find your wallet and all that old type of shit, nigga. So you can't come back and say, you know what? I think I forgot my boots. Nah, nigga, you got everything. You got everything right there, nigga. Uh, get everything you need. Ain't that your letter right there on it? The yeah. Huh? Excuse me. <laughs> okay? That part right there. So, but yeah, so, uh, we, um, we done with that one. But we're gonna roll that into some more shit and... You know, damn, I hear that um, Mary J. Blige is really going to go ahead and get divorced with uh, uh, Ken Do. That motherfucker said, I can no can do no more, huh? That motherfucker said, fuck this shit. I'm up out of this motherfucker. Nigga, I hope you got a backup plan because, nigga, all that going down money, nigga, is over with. You know what I mean? All that motherfucking extra coin. Now, now, uh, you need to come out with some flame. Real shit. Some real flame grown and sexy, I put this nigga out, fuck this motherfucker, type shit. I'm gonna need from you, Mary J. Bly. I'm gonna need you to go head on and tell it like a T.I. motherfucker is. Quit bullshitting with it. You know what I mean? Because I, you know, fuck K. Hopper, K. Michelle and them do it, nigga. Fuck with uh, Taylor Swift and them we got, got going on. Nigga, I'm waiting on Mary J. Bly to come out with this motherfucking CD right here. Because I'm going to be the main motherfucking one at, at Best Buy. Nigga, can I get the explicit version, please? I want to hear every motherfucking thing she say about this motherfucker. Huh? I want to hear every motherfucking thing that she going to say about this motherfucker. Because I already know you're going to let it rip. What you say? Nigga, I've been sponsoring your motherfucking ass, nigga. All this nigga time, motherfucker, you uh right here? Yeah. I will be getting the next motherfucking Mary J. Blige. I will be blowing that shit in my whip on 45. Okay, let me just go and say it. Okay, let me just go and put that shit out there in the universe right the fuck right now. The next motherfucking Mary J. Blige, I predict, will be flame. That's it. Okay? Now, uh, shout out to my boy, gang. Nigga, you's about one of the sexiest motherfuckers. Nigga, the game. Oh, my God. JC on nickel. Hey, let me get check it. Ain't too many motherfuckers that I will really be looking at like, you know, this nigga can really get it. This nigga, this nigga, huh? This nigga right game. That nigga's fine as a motherfucker. Now, your teeth are a little gator. You know what I'm saying? But we can look past them motherfuckers. Cause I already know that you on the same shit. That Michael and the rest of these motherfuckers is like, nigga, I'm an OG. Uh, I'm going to keep my grill the way that it is. The 57 don't need to get fucked with. But, nigga, uh, holler at me on the, at the bank and the rest of the shit I got going. You see the motherfucking car I'm driving? Okay. So, then, therefore, my grill ain't got shit to do with my motherfucking income level. I ain't got Obamacare and none of that old type of shit, nigga. I can go right over there uh, uh, off of uh, uh, whoop that whoop and get all this shit right here on 10 if I need to. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I have to give it to the motherfucking game. He said, shit, nigga, fuck all that veneer shit, nigga. This is what's happening, nigga. One to the front, one to the back, one over here look like it got a little issue. Nigga, it's no problem, but you better check this motherfucking airplane photo I got going on right here on motherfucking Instagram. That nigga got the biggest motherfucking dick on Instagram, don't he? Nigga, I had to go ahead on and befriend that motherfucker just for the goddamn self. I said, oh, my God, nigga, damn. My shit quivered when I seen it. I said, oh, shit. Huh? Nigga, my shit was so motherfucking wet. That nigga had some bunch shit one day. Motherfucker, he had these two motherfucking French bread. Nigga, is that shit screenshot in my goddamn phone? I think it is. I'm telling secrets. I don't give a damn. Nigga, I screenshot that motherfucker. I was like, you know what shit? When, when, nigga, when I just need to see something extra. You know what I mean? When, nigga, when I just need a visual, nigga. I'm going back to this motherfucker right here. He had these two French breads going to the back. Nigga, that motherfucking was a lethal weapon. I said, oh, my God. I was ne I was, I've been scared of big dicks for a long time in my life. I didn't know nothing about that motherfucker. Nigga fucked around and jumped on the other side. I said, oh, shit, nigga. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Huh? Nigga, uh, 
Nigga, if you don't quit playing with this bullshit, you coming here anything else other than something that's, you know, at least low-key proper. Now, come on now. I'll be 45 in a minute. You know what I mean? Motherfucking know the difference. You know what I mean? Nigga, if your motherfucking nuts is longer than your motherfucking dick, nigga, it's a motherfucking issue. Okay? Them motherfuckers shouldn't be longer than them motherfuckers. I'm just saying. You know? So, anyway, <clears throat> we're going to roll that shit on in the motherfucking Black China and Rob... Motherfuckers is having little problems on the set. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is going through a little this and that. They don't know whether or not, you know what I'm saying, is we're going to make it, is we're going to see this motherfucking shit through. I don't know what we're going to decide. You know what I mean? And, you know, and I was saying to Black China before, you know, ain't no telling if you're going to ever really make it in the compound. But being that you have, you done said to this test of time, and plus you got a little Kardashian coming. You know what I mean? That's going to play with North and all the rest of the motherfuckers. That's beautiful. That's beautiful than the motherfucker. You know what I mean? Because really, truth be told, and shit, I don't understand why you don't never see Blue and North hanging together. You don't see them motherfuckers, huh? I guess Beyonce said, bitch, this motherfucker ain't sitting with me. Shit. I mean, uh, I respect what she got going on, but uh, that motherfucker ain't sitting with me. You know what I mean? It was, you know, hey, to each his own or whatever. She could be saying that. Maybe not. I don't know. But I ain't, I ain't seen that now, motherfucking princess. Party, Little Mermaid, whatever they get out is nowadays. I ain't seen not now one of them motherfucking pictures with them together. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's probably just ain't they thing. Them motherfuckers just ain't really vibing like that. You know what I mean? And whatever. But, um, Black China's having a little girl. So, you know what I'm saying? They gonna have their little pictures with North and her brother and all that. And uh, the other little Kardashian and all her motherfucking kids and all that old type of shit. That's gonna be beautiful. You made it into the motherfucking compound, but I'm going to need you to get some life insurance. I'm going to need you to handle your motherfucking business. I'm going to need you, you know what I mean? Make sure you get your businesses on 10, all the way on 10. Not to say that you just, you know, using this motherfucker, but hell, they using you too to get this motherfucking show going. So then therefore, since we using one another, nigga, if you don't get some motherfucking money going and, uh, and put to the side some motherfucking way just in case, you know what I'm saying? Now, you do got an uh, issue now. That gonna get you some coins for a period of time. You know what I'm saying? Now that you're pregnant, you know what I'm saying, and you're carrying a Kardashian. So yes, that's gonna render you, you know what I'm saying, that real badass bassinet, that you know what I'm saying, that elite motherfucking stroller and all that. You're gonna have all that motherfucking shit. Okay? I got it. They already feminine and they doing all this right here. Baby shower gonna be on 10. Got it. Okay? But <coughs> nigga, I'm just gonna ask you to don't take the buy out. Fuck that. Don't let the motherfucker, don't let the mama come in and say, well, you know what, bitch, we got this rolled up right here, and in this declaration, it says, we're going to give you $5 million to go ahead on. This is for child support payment from 1 to 21 years old, and this is for all this right here. We're going to give you one motherfucking lump sum, $5 million. Sign this right here, and we got to check, bitch, don't you sign that shit, Okay. You better not sign that shit. You see Thelma still getting her motherfucking residuals from good times. Don't you fuck around and sign some shit, take the buyout, and your motherfucking ass is now, you gonna spend that five million on some bullshit, and then you're gonna be looking around talking about, you know what, uh, I had to put the baby in a different school, and I'm gonna need this right here. Bitch, don't do it. Be smart about this thing, okay? Because people that got money, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got no problem with having you sign some shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she, uh, she took the buyout. You know what I mean? Don't take the buyout. I'm going to ride this motherfucking shit through. Get your payments, um, you know what I'm saying, straight out. Don't don't take that bullshit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just in case if you hit with that, I'm not saying that you are, but just in case if you hit with that bullshit, do not take the buyout. Okay.